Hi, I'm Karen Hermanson, director of the Arthur Murray Dance Studios in Santa Barbara, Ventura, and Thousand Oaks. This is the first of five videos on ballroom and social dancing for beginners. You know, being the owner of three studios and having taught thousands of lessons to our students, I've freely come to appreciate the tremendous joy that comes from learning to dance as well as teaching people how to dance better. In this series, I'm going to be addressing the five most important aspects of learning to dance for beginners. Uh, those being uh, fitting in on the dance floor, looking natural, uh, dancing with your partner, uh, posture, footwork, and of course a sum up at the end. So let's get started. First I'd like to introduce one of our premier instructors. Uh, our instructors at Arthur Murray are pretty amazing. They not only know how to teach dancing, but they're tremendous dancers themselves. And Felipe is the 2009 world champion at the Arthur Murray Las Vegas Championships. So, Felipe Castaneda, uh, I'd like to have you take it away. Thank you very much, Karen. Now we're going to start off with how to fit in on the dance floor. But first of all, I want to introduce my students, the suave Manny Salazar and the most beautiful Diane Salazar. They're going to start off by showing us how to take our basic step and how to make it look really nice by rotating. They're going to get into our dance hall, and from here we're going to show our basic footwork. The gentleman is going to go forward with his left foot, the lady's going to go back with her right foot. And all it is is you're going to go forward, side, together as a gentleman, back, side, together. Now I'm going to come around this side, the lady's going to do the same thing, but she's going to go back with her right foot. We have a little saying that the ladies start with the right because they're always right, okay? She's going to go back, side, together, forward, side, together. Now this is our basic step. And to make it look really elegant and just a little bit more polished, he's going to start to rotate to his left. He's just going to turn. As you can look at his feet, he turns a little bit to the left. And as you can tell, that makes it look so much nicer. So all you do again is you're going to look at the feet and he starts to rotate. Yeah? So now, let's show them how to do that in slow motion. I want you guys to separate. And I want Manny to show his footwork. Once again, he's going to start to rotate his body to the left. And as he rotates his body, he's going to be able to give a little more of the elegant look that we want in this step. And that's how we rotate. Yeah? It's as simple as that. Thank you. The next thing we'd like to work on is how to characterize each dance a little differently. So as you know, our basic footwork and our basic step, they're going to get into their dance hold again. This is what we call the box step. He's going to show us the difference in rotating the waltz step versus doing a rumba box step. So he's going to show us a waltz step again, and he's going to start by rotating. As you can tell, he rotates his body, and this is the box step. Now, this is the waltz. Now, if we change our characterization of the dance, and we stay in place and start to feel it with their bodies, this is what we call the rumba, as they demonstrate. Look at their hips and look at their bodies. As they start to move, they start to have more of a rhythm, rhythmical action through their bodies. It's as simple as moving your hips, yeah? So, same footwork, just a different type of movement, yeah? Does that look nice? I want uh, my Aunt Manny and Diane to demonstrate without each other the difference. So Manny's going to demonstrate how he just shows the footwork and his body action through this step. He's going to be able to just keep it in place and move his body to make it look more Latin and rhythmical. Now ladies, this is your turn to watch Diane. This is your turn to really enjoy how to move your hips with the rumba. The rumba gets you start to move, gets you to move your hips around, and it's a great dance to feel and let loose. This is as easy as moving your body. That was wonderful. Thank you so much, Manny, Diane, and Felipe. Now, I'd like to address one more issue that comes up with beginners all the time, and that is everyone looks at their feet when they're first learning to dance. Now, Manny and Dan, you were not doing that, no, never, but I'd like you to show that same box step, and I'd like you to do the old beginner look down and study your feet. So would you do that for me, please? All right, and we're going to do it, do it through the rumba section with the hips and all, let it turn around. If you're studying your feet, you look like you're concentrating too hard, and you don't look very confident. Now, when they start putting their heads up, if you'll do that, now that movement, they can dance a little bit closer together, Looks sexier, looks more confident.
I hope you enjoyed that video. To get all five videos, go to ArthurMurrayVentura.com. And I'll hope to see you dancing in the studio soon.